dictators like this killing. To the idea of British troops wandering around in Libya. Libya is not worth... <laughs> Libya is not worth an ounce of British blood. The truth about the matter is, and I was astonished about what you said there, I wrote it down here. He said, we have to act against a dictator killing its own people. That dictator, by the way, we gave them, we sold 40 million quids worth of military vehicles to them in the 90s. Right? We will end up bombing the very stuff we flogged to them. But much more important than that, when, they, when that same dictator, who you say was killing its own people, when they killed our people, when they blew up in Lockerbie, why didn't we go into Libya then? We had much more right to do that then. <laughs> and the other, I, I detest our governments for keep getting involved in wars which have nothing to do with us. This is a revolution. Two sides battling it out. I wish the rebels every success. I believe that in the end they will win. But we don't need to go in ourselves. And tell me this, tell me this, Baroness. What is going to happen in Saudi Arabia? They are shooting their own people. They have banned martyrs. Are we going to war in Saudi Arabia? Are we going to war in the Yemen? Are we going to war in Bahrain? This is the same government that is actually turning our army down, scrapping our Ark Royal, doing this, doing that, and at the same time, at the same time, your government, your government is wading in anywhere in the world. It's a disgrace, and okay. I, I think Cameron has I, gone I, mad. Help me. I am helpless.